Okay, we are continuing in Chapter 5 working with uh, formulas and functions. And this time we're going to be uh, working with some sums and some averages. So we're going to be look, we're looking with our wingtip toys cells worksheet. Uh, we're going to do assessment 5-2. So come down here to Blackboard and select the 05 wingtips toys cells worksheet or workbook. Open that up. We need to change this and enable editing. So the first thing we're going to do is we can see we have our totals here and total and average. So we're going to um, fill in this information. So there's several ways that we can do this. One way we can do a total is we can click on the total, uh, put equals, sum, and put the range you're looking for. You can come up here to the function box and insert a function. So if we go up here to function, what we want to do is add these and when you add you sum. So we're going to sum and say OK. Now it wants to know, OK, well what range do you want to sum? We want to sum B4 through B10 and that's what's there. So we can say OK and there is our range. Now we can come over here and we can use our copy and copy that over to get our totals. Now when you have a whole area like this, one way you can do it to make it to save you some time is we can actually just select this whole range of total, uh, come up here to the formulas tab, go to auto sum, select that, and it's going to automatically just fill them on all in with our total. So you can save yourself some time when you have a whole list. Just select the range first as long as it's all the same type of formula or function. Here in average, let's look at this. Um, we're not going to select the range. I want, to, want, to, want you to pay attention to this. Uh, we want our average of our uh, cells. But when you select, do an average, you don't want to select the total because this total is already figured in to these figures. So we want to make sure we don't select that. We want the average of B3 through, or B4 through D4. So to do that, let's come up here to our auto sum, click on our little more button here. We want average. Excel automatically assumes that we want the average of B4 through E4. And that's not correct. We don't want E4. We want to end at D4. You can come up here and change that to a D, uh, the E to a D or you can just go ahead and just select the range that you want. I want B4 through D4. I'm going to use my check mark. Another way you can do average is by using the function box. So we've got our function box here. And I can come down here and I can search for um, search for my total. That's not either one what I'm looking for. So I can come down here and I can go to most recently used. Usually average is going to be in there, but it's not. So come back up here and let's type in average. And there we go. So when you're looking for formulas uh, functions, you can come up here to the, the function library and find it or you can click on this FX and bring up your little insert function box. We want our average. So we're just going to say OK. And in here we need to tell it what do we want the average of. So we can come here to our little um, pick box. So we're going to click on that little red arrow. And now we're just going to select the range that we want. We want B5 through D5. We're going to come over here and close this little box and say OK. Now once you have your average selected, you can always just copy as well. So we're going to come up here and select the little copy handle and drag it down. So now we have our totals and our averages. There's more than one way to do everything in Microsoft Excel. Just do it the way that's easiest for you. Now you're ready to save this as 05 Wingtip Toy Cell Solution and submit it in Blackboard for your grade.